change your channel because you are still listening to Overdo and of course on the other side we're still listening to TLC how in the fuck did that happen ladies and gentlemen I don't know man but all I gotta tell you is that if you pretty much were making a drinking game and literally play some bets on TLC and Overlo would never ever get together again you have been officially proven wrong because right now Big L and the captain have officially blown your mind Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't come alone. Also joining us tonight, my co-pilot, my other dude, my future best man. You never know. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. T. Sean Jones. Yo, yo, yo. What is up? Wow. Just when you thought you had all the answers and just when you thought everything was safe, we have We're crossed here. over. We- we have crossed over. We have crossed over the border of everything that will blow your mind. Yes, that is right. TLC overload and no shameless plug, but face off too. We are live in full effect here. This guy, this, this, is, from, this, this guy is coming from my. This is coming from my guy who tried to play Pooch Hall in a movie. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> We were trying to figure out in our heads, you know, what the hell was he thinking? Because we all came to the conclusion that Omar Gooden Jr., here's your future shameless plug, since nobody remembers who the hell you are since baby boy. Oh, your hey, twin has finally arrived. Ouch. If that, if that was the case, then I'm looking for some money. Yo, pay up. <laughs> nah, but, man, this is going to be the biggest show of the year. I mean, you got to think. Who would ever thought? In a million years, no one would have ever expected that the captain, Big Jones, Big L, literally crossed, crossed the over like there's no tomorrow. I guess I could take the say we're pulling a Seth Rollins tonight, and we are officially doing a takeover of the airwaves. Mm. L, you, you, you pretty much are the expert on, expert on this one. I mean, honestly, this is something that nobody would have ever seen coming, and now that it's here, what, let's not waste any fucking time. Let's just get this fucking party started. Oh, man. Oh. NXT TakeOver once again stole the weekend of course as always we have a new that's right a new NXT champion I'm talking about Bobby Roode glorious things got glorious in NXT now I don't know about y'all but I'm just saying people are y'all ready for a new era Bobby Roode your new NXT champion he beat the shit and let's just be honest about it he beat the shit out of Nakamura, my boy, Nakamura could be out. 
I, I honestly, I, I like this, like the direction that's going. I mean, you say here you give uh, knock a, you pretty much put Nakamura on the shelf and get everything done and everything handled. Now all of a sudden you get to the point where now Bobby Roode has been clamoring about a new era in this business in NXT. Now he has a chance to prove that shine in every sense of the word. Yeah, definitely, definitely. My my thing is this: Where are we going with this? And my main question is: Is Nakamura okay? Come on, dog. This this guy, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting like everybody else to show up in NXT slash WWE. And now look what happens. And now we probably won't even get Nakamura for at least four, five, six months, six months stops, if they know how severe the injury is. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I really I'm, – I'm, I'm wishing Nakamura, Nakamura the best and hoping that he literally recovers because he's still a damn good talent. I was arguably one of the best wrestlers in WWE right now. Definitely, definitely. But since we're sitting here talking about NFC, I, I, I don't know about you guys, but it kind of feels like we need, we, we need some bodies in this bitch. We need, some, we need to let the bodies hit the floor. I mean – do we do we have anybody out there in the wrestling world who wants to embrace the era of glorious with us? Mm. Mm. Do we? Do we ever, ladies Woo! and gentlemen, Woo! representing Southern California, give it up for the lease. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hey. Lali's, were you uh, surprised that uh, Bobby Roode is now your new NXT world champ? Mm, well, sooner or later it was going to happen. I mean, I'm not upset about it. It's glorious. You can't oh, be God. upset. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Jesus glorious Christ. time. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but, uh, did you watch the complete show or did you watch it in pieces? Uh, you know, cause I, I was at an indie show that day, so I look saw it, it, part I, of it. And look at it, look at it. Shout out to all the indie shows out there. Where were you at? At AWS. Oh, shit. Main event? Oh. Well, was the main event was Tyler Bateman versus Scorpio Sky versus, um, Little Cholo for the oh, title. Oh, shit. Shout out yeah. to Scorpio Sky, who also listens to Face Off and watches all the matches with T. Sean Jones out there. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he, he been watching it. There you uh, go. Okay. Give it up, so Scorpio Sky. Hello, hell, hell of a big fan. Uh, I tell you right now, all three of the men men at this table right now, we greatly appreciate you giving us that giving us that support. We greatly appreciate it. Keep chiming in on it because people people listen when you speak. I guarantee it. There it is. Hey, Dolly's real quick. Yeah. So I, I noticed that you took a picture with a certain somebody. You want to brag about it? Oh. <laughs> well, Who did you take a picture with? Well, my main goal was to go meet up with Colt Cabana. So, yeah, I got a picture with Colt Cabana and an autograph. Damn. Oh, snap. Yeah. Round of applause for her laying the smack down and giving Colt and getting some from Colt Cabana. Good. Damn. <laughs> Bragging yeah, a hard-working man on the indie scene. Nice job. <laughs> Bragging rights like no other. Damn. <laughs> well, I had a little list who I wanted to meet that day, but it was just Colt Cabana. Oh. I wanted to get Soraya Knight, but she was kind of tough. Mm. Hmm. Mm-mm. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's bring in another person out here. Now, this little one was a little pissed off because her dude, no, not me, but her dude ended up being number 30, ended up not only losing, but, yeah, came out just a little short. Just a little short. Ladies and gentlemen, get up for Josie. The short jokes are out. Just saying. 
no, 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 no. There are still there, there's going to be more short, short jokes coming. But we're kind of giving you the benefit of the doubt because, well, well, you're hot and you're fun. So in all honesty, we're going to predict you at the very fact that you know you have been getting on us about the whole Roman Reigns thing. No, we're gonna, we're gonna, no, we're just no, that the slide. only reason why he didn't get that title was because stupid showman was like offered. <laughs> what is it called? Like breathe, a title yeah, breathe, that, breathe. Yeah. I'm sorry, but don't see before you, before you can say I just want to give you a heads up. I know Braun Strowman is watching this broadcast right now, so. I'll get that. Sure. Hey, no. He would eat you, little, little one. He no, would eat he you. Wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. Don't call I me like for backup. I'm just saying. <laughs> She's bringing out her club. <laughs> I was so mad. So mad. Now. Now, Josie, I gotta ask you a question. Why do you support this dude? I mean, you you know just about everybody who listens to TLC, everybody who listens to Overload, everybody who watches Face Off, they're like, "Fuck Roman Reigns, man." Do you guys really know why? Why? Yes, we want to know why. I want to know why too. Why do you guys hate him so? Because much? he's a lot of Enex John Cena. Wow, she oh, said it, not me. She said it, not me. Oh, damn. Wait, wait, wait okay. I'm going to come up with this and, and you know, the John Cena are pretty much brought John Cena into this myth. The reason why most people hate Roman Reigns is because of the fact that he has been shoved down everybody's throat ever since he returned from his injury a few years back. They were pissed off at him ever since he won Superstar of the Year, and it has not stopped since. The problem is that if you just baby-stepped us into Roman Reigns, we might embrace him. But mm-hmm. since he's already proven that he has zero, zero mic skill, he has mm-hmm. – four major moves, so he has one more than John Cena. And the fact that every single time you turn around, you can't have a legitimate good match without having somewhere in the midst Roman Reigns in it. Right. Because it's Roman Reigns. Who wouldn't want to see that fight? In the words of GBD, <laughs> the cute one? <clears throat> yes. The cute My hand is raised right now because of that. I'd rather see Nia Jax than Roman Reigns. That's just me. I think the only time that I liked Roman Reigns was when he faced AJ Styles. That was like the only good wow. match he ever wow. had. Josie, <laughs> wow. Josie, I got wow. some bad matches for you, and I and this is actually on a personal level. Every time my every, every time my almost two month old daughter hears Roman Reigns music, she cries. That's fucked up. That fucked up. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. She sees Braun Strowman and she just literally just sits there just as quiet. But she hears Roman Reigns' music and then it's all of a sudden I can't get her to get quiet until Roman Reigns is off the screen. Because if you see Strowman, it's like, what do you do? It's a giant beat. Ouch. Um, you call in Ben Ellsworth and hope that he's ready. That's true. <laughs> no, but I was talking to Joseph about it the other day. How, like, mm-hmm. I don't see the point in how people hate on him and say that he can't wrestle if he comes from, like, a wrestling background. Like, obviously, he knows how to wrestle. Damn, yeah, high five I, on that one. High five on that one. Thank you. I, I think maybe, like, a few years ago when we wanted Roman to win, he did, and it was Daniel Bryan. And then after Daniel Bryan had his, um, you know, injury, I think that's when they're actually – you know, pushing Roman, pushing Roman. Then he did his strike, and then he's back up again. And everywhere you see Roman's the one getting pushed, and but there's other people that deserve better, you know? Okay, you know? I, hate to, I, I, hate to, I hate to be that guy, but uh, are you tired of seeing the underdog story? I'm just saying. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, this is we're 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 past that already. I mean, and, 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 and honestly, if we were tired of seeing the underdog story, then we wouldn't see Sami Zayn on TV at all. Oh that's God, don't even get me started on that. But that's just pretty much the thing. The thing with Roman Reigns. Something to say here and realize about Roman Reigns is that the only thing I can say Roman Reigns career right now is if Batista comes back. And no, no, that, no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Whatever happens. If, if, Doing if movies. I know, right? Getting rich. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Hello. Holla. That, that, no, I think Batista is, is better off in Hollywood. Says yeah. Goldberg's fan. 
Bullshit. <laughs> not like The Rock, but he's in Hollywood. Damn. He's halfway there. He's somewhere there. <laughs> but t- but t- oh, Batista? God. Wait, 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 wait. No, you said, wait, you said, you said he was halfway there? Yeah. He's halfway. not even a quarter way oh, there. Oh, no. <laughs> Good enough. I don't get it. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's stuck at the mic. But he'd be fine if he shuts up and just, like, fights. You just you just like Roman Reigns because you because he's because you get well. he's beautiful. Well. I think Roman should just wow. turn heel. She said like he's Ro- beautiful. Here we go. She, she said Where's I like Roman he, Reigns' hair because he used the right he conditioner. <laughs> 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 oh, speaking of beautiful, who else do we have? Let's not love talk about the ladies and talk about the ladies. Oh no, no, no! Oh, not him. Oh. I gotta go, I gotta go, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back, I'll be back. What is going on, Rock and Reese? <laughs> Overload, TLC together, it's craziness. <laughs> oh, you know what? But you know what? I like crazy because, you know, you can't have craziness without a lunatic. <laughs> Why Ladies and gentlemen, in case you're trying to figure out who we have on the air right now, it is a... Regular here on TLC. It is the pride of Philadelphia, the center of South Philly. We have Rock and Reese on the show, and Lord help us all. He, uh, he 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 apparently he told me before the show that he drank like a whole bottle, bottle of tequila, and I don't know where he's running to, but apparently he said something about street food yeah. and Veterans Park. Uh, no, no, actually, I don't know why the fuck I just hit myself with a head. With you know what? I should have known better than get a hammer. <laughs> I just literally smashed myself twice with the chair right now. See, that's what happens when I get the Ambrose theme going. Okay, so Reese, Reese, you pretty much, you watch TakeOver, obviously. You watch the Royal Rumble. We've already pretty much gone through Raw and SmackDown, the the, the post-Rumble episodes. Is there any moment that you, that that pretty much through the entire wrestling week, the last four days, that has stuck out for you as far as, Maybe the ratings finally get into the right direction. Damn. Uh, first of all, got to touch on Joe's arrival, which I had to admit kind of caught me a little off of left guard. But then, in hindsight, I think we all should have – well, some people did, like, see it coming because, like, I noticed, like, a couple people picked up on the destroyer effect that Triple H subtly dropped. Mm. And then, um, of course, that also being Joe's theme. But they still worked it to a point where it still caught a lot of people by surprise. Mm-hmm. But then I also got to touch with the whole Roman coming in at number 30 deal. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. here we go. Oh, for you more, for you numbskulls that thought Finn Balor was going to come in, let's do a little counting, shall we? Finn said he would need, at minimum, six months to count in. So, let's see, from August to now, let's see, September 1, October 2, November 3, December 4, January 5, which means he (laughs) would have missed the Royal Rumble. Now, I don't know why anybody was expecting Ballard to return. (laughs) Whatever he's drinking, I want I want like a double shot of it. That's I'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> I was for me, I was kind of bummed that there, were, there weren't that many like surprise entrants to the rumble. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on, pump the brakes there. I'm I sorry. Except for Ty Bellinger, I got now Bell and her, but surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we didn't get any surprise. Appearances at the Royal Rumble as everybody pretty much wanted. We didn't get anybody that wasn't already seen in the last four weeks in the Royal Rumble. We got everyone who was seen in the last four weeks in the Royal Rumble. We didn't get surprise appearances. We got we got waste waste picks. I mean, if you go down all the guys who showed up there, nobody gave two shits about this Rumble until Braun Strowman, Dean Ambrose, Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, Undertaker. Until those five names showed up. Nobody gave two shits, shits about about the Royal Rumble. None. Right. Don't forget Roman. 
<laughs> and speaking oh, of male surprises, sorry, um, can't help you. <laughs> sorry, can't help you. And and that speaking one, of no I surprises, could. why did they give Sami Zayn's number away? <laughs> because they didn't give a fuck about him. Ooh. Oh, because that's, that's oh. harsh. Because honestly, it's an underdog story that needs to be, well, as AJ South puts it, buried. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jericho just said you just made the list. Chip, you know what? You just made the list. Oh, oh, come on. If you think I make the list now, you're just, I'm, I'm just getting warmed up, folks. I got these. I got. I, I got these two two m- 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 folks right here next to me. And trust me, my cojones is big. These guys got about as big as cojones as I am, and we will piss off a lot of people tonight. Well, <laughs> I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we have, so 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 now we have the lunatic fringe. I mean, is there um who who would be next? Ooh. Oh man, whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the man who's gonna be hosting a backyard boogie at WrestleMania 34 in his backyard. I'm talking about Mister Mister. Mr. T5. What's going on, bro? Wait a minute. This is a showtime at the Apollo. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> T5, they were, T5. T5, they were shooting from the hip. They said that the underdog story was not going to happen. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. Well, at least it didn't happen at the Royal Rumble like I thought it was going to happen, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going to happen. Damn. They pretty, they pretty much sat on, sat on my theory, Mr. Roman Reigns. All right, T5, me, me and you, we were talking about this all week long. Um, on a serious note, um, Vince McMahon basically said fuck you to everybody, right? Basically. Yeah. Like hey, that somebody, dude hey, turned around and said, number 30, guess what? Fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> let, let, let everybody know what we were talking about. Let everybody talk, like, break it down for everybody, what we were talking about uh, for the past few days. Like, man, like, he basically, like, everybody thought, oh, man, Samoa Joe's gonna, probably going to be at number 30 or, or maybe Kurt Angle or somebody yeah. like that in that effect. Man, this cat sat here and said, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put a Roman Reigns at number 30. F you, F you, F you. You're cool. F you. I do what I want. And he basically said, he basically gives zero fucks at this point. Like he is like dead set on pushing Roman Reigns till, till his casket closes. Like he gives zero fucks at this point in juncture. And he don't care. Like he knows. I think he pretty he much. I think he, as much as he, as much as he likes to downplay the dirt sheets and whatnot, I think he. I think he pretty much keeps a tab on the internet, or he has one of his his lackeys like Kevin Dunn or somebody keep tabs <laughs> on the internet, so he knows what the people are talking about. So he's like, you know what we're gonna do. We're going to put in Roman Reigns and make him look strong. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting, and it's an interesting segue that T5 just brought to because I usually do this at the end of the show. I'm doing this right now. Now, the fuck was given award, named specifically after our esteemed guest T5, goes to everybody who was pissed off about Roman Reigns being number 30. Roman Reigns number 30, and you guys were all pissed off, and guess what? T5, could you say it for me? Man, zero fucks was given. Thank you. One so there's your award winner for the this week. If you don't like it, no fucks are being given tonight. Yes. Oh. Well, damn. At least one. Bring it back one. to the. Bring <laughs> it back to the one. All right. <laughs> Not even one. To, bringing it back to the rumble. Hey, Goldberg fan. Uh, Sean, where you at? <laughs> really? Now, really? 
Hey, bro, really? I, I, I got to ask. No, seriously, did you, did you by any chance, and, and I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but by any chance, did you actually think Goldberg might have a chance winning this shit? Hell no. Uh, no. Why not? Be real, be real, be real. Why not? I'm serious. Hell no. Why not? It's Goldberg. And? It's Goldberg. Yeah. Goldberg. And. It's, 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 my thing is this. It's Goldberg. <laughs> That's like saying, let oh. Hulk Hogan. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. That's like saying, okay, we're going to let Hulk Hogan c- come back and be in the Royal Rumble and win. That shit ain't going to happen. Mm. Mm. Good point. That's like saying, and I know he's listening because I got in trouble with him for this. That's like saying JTG uh. come back and he win the Royal Rumble. Mm. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Oh, there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. And, and for those who thought, and, and for those who thought Goldberg was gonna win, shame on you. Shame. 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 Shame, shame. shame on you, Pushal. Yeah, and, 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 uh, that's, just, that's just tragic on that one. T-Bob, thanks so much for actually joining us tonight. Stay on this line because we are just getting warmed up. I know I, I, it's, it's the back of my neck are standing up right now for some reason. I don't know what. Maybe it's like, you know, I got like literally fart like this one tomorrow. I don't know what it is. But for some reason, the hairs of the back of my neck are standing up. Joe, is there somebody here that we did not see coming? Mm, that's what she said. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Got me again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for once again for Mr. Fresh. Ah, <laughs> oh, uh, Fresh, uh, you've been very vocal about this the last few days. You've been talking a lot about NSC and the Royal Rumble, Raw and SmackDown, and the direction they're going to. So I guess my biggest question is, Let's talk to the almighty, mighty male version of Miss Cleo for a minute. Oh, wow. What's the, future, what's the future look like for WrestleMania, especially now knowing what we know about Seth Rollins possibly not being at TLC? Or, I'm sorry, not TLC, yeah, shameless plug, at WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's sad, bro. It's heartbreaking that my guy is potentially going to miss his second WrestleMania in a row. Like that's that breaks my heart for him. Really? Wow. It, it does. does. It does. Yeah. I mean, I'm 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 with Bruce Wrestling. I, I I was looking forward to seeing Seth Rollins versus Triple H so somebody could probably shut Triple H the fuck up. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not even that. It's just like it's just like with any sports thing. It's like with any sport, you work so hard to get to a certain point. Like most people highlight of their career is All Star game. So when you're not mm-hmm. selected to play in the All Star game, it's like, damn, you know, what did I do, or what didn't I do that nobody voted me in, or you know, that's like making it to the Super Bowl, but you couldn't play in the game because you got hurt. It's like, damn, like Brady. And this <laughs> is WWE Super Bowl. This is the biggest event of the year. Orlando, Florida. We're talking about over seventy thousand fans, and now wow. Seth got to sit on the sideline again as he blew out his knee. But it's not panic. It's not panic because we don't know how severe it is. He could be back in time. He could be back in time. He could be. And the fact that and to put this to put this in terms of who are listening or trying to understand, this is the equivalent for uh, if Tom Brady had ended up sitting here jacking up his knee and was out for the season and the Patriots weren't making the Super Bowl. You guys should be crying about that one. For most wrestling fans who have been watching, Seth Rollins missing his second straight rumble after all the work he had put into to get back to this point, yeah, that is literally like a that straight donkey punch to the nuts. And trust me, I've been to Tijuana. I've been to donkey shows. Oh, God. Why are you hanging out at donkey I was drunk. What else was going to do in Tijuana? Drink and go to a donkey show. It's pretty much the only two things you can do in Tijuana. Damn. Donkey show. 
<laughs> Go ahead, Joe Peach. Damn. Well, she'll feel all. The hell's wrong with your phone? People, Papu. <laughs> rerouting, uh, rerouting. I don't know. I don't know who's cracking like it. Okay, you're back. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm just saying flat out that I'm gonna do Josie the biggest star in the world. When Roman Reigns finally hangs it up, I'm gonna put I'm gonna let her take her to Tijuana, take her to a donkey show, put a Roman Reigns shirt on a donkey, and she'll feel all the better. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Man. What? She did it already? It's off your list? Hey, Ron, can I do my special performance now? Oh, by all means. Okay. Before I introduce this next guy, um, a lot of people don't realize this, but I'm also, like, into music. You know, I could get down with my shit. So I'm going to help this guy, you know, just introduce him with a good old intro and, you know, just play him in. So everybody, if you want, just hum along with me. Ready? Okay. In three, two, one. I'll play the piano as you guys hum along. Here we go. <clears throat> Maestro, please. <clears throat> oh, well, Nikki Bella is still my trip. I'm Bree Bella's real baby daddy. Sorry, I have to go there. Oh, nah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ken King. Oh, Wow. A celebrity. We have a celebrity. Ken King, welcome, welcome, welcome. I cannot believe this. I, I mean, I, I think my show just went like five stars just because of your arrival. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, Ken, what do you think about, you know, John Cena? You're now 16-time world heavyweight champion. And you're a role model. <laughs> and, uh, I wouldn't say all that, but I'm not really excited by his 16 time title like run, like, like, man, whatever. Damn, whatever. I thought you'd be like, so excited, be like, fuck yeah, my boy did it, hell yeah, but no. Nah. Uh, uh, In your face, Clinton. It's not a surprise, like, it's, no. What well, would have really been surprising if, like, Cena flipped the script and just went rogue, then it would have been something interesting. But him being him doing the cookie cutter and shit over and over and, nah, it's, it's, it's getting stale, man. Okay, okay. Well, since you basically are in that mindset, there's been a lot of people that have been pissed off about the fact that John Cena tied the record of return. Not broke it, but tied it. Even though we had, like, the shittiest 2006, had a shittier 2016 since the Patriots, even though he had a shittier 2016 since anybody who was rooting for Golden State or Cleveland. But are you feeling, do you honestly feel like he should have, he should have tied this record, or do you feel like maybe AJ Styles should have just kept the belt? I feel like that they should have let AJ keep the belt and keep his title run going into, you know, Elimination Chamber and everything like that. That's just my opinion. I even heard a lot of guys in the in the back, like, kind of pissed off about him tying with Ric Flair. Mm. And you know the one person who isn't pissed off about him tying Ric Flair? Woo! Ric Flair, ladies and gentlemen. He's letting out a fact that this should have happened a long time ago 
But he is happy because John Cena is the one guy who was that close to the record. He feels like it's long overdue. So if Rick Blair is not angry about it, Onions, why should y'all be? Damn. I, you know, it is what it is. He, he tied, the, tied the record. Woo! I have a feeling that one. I have a feeling that one CM Punk fan back there is probably like, man, fuck Cena. <laughs> I don't know why the internet's so mad. Like it was bound to happen. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just mostly because of who it happened against, though. Mm. Because I of. Mean, I put it- yeah, I actually would you, thought Goldberg was going to win the Rumble. Would you, rather, would you rather John Cena tie Ric Flair's record at the Royal Rumble and then potentially lose the belt at Elimination Chamber so now you don't have a long John Cena reign, or would you want him to tie Ric Flair's record at WrestleMania by burying somebody who probably needs the push and then having a long run? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, got a point. Well, you got a point there. Well, okay. thanks, so, thanks for joining us. Hold on to the line there. We're, we're just getting warmed up. I know we got an arsenal coming up behind us. That was a shocker, Joe. That was in, that was flat out impressive. That was a hell of a shocker. Now, can you top that one? Actually, I can't because a guy who I was going to bring in decided to go watch fucking another Natty match in uh, – <laughs> he said, you guys take forever. So he said he'll call you, us back. You mean to tell me that yeah. who wants to wrestling 24 I have to take the night off from talking about wrestling 24 7 365? Yes, sir. That, Jericho, Dulin, you know where Dulin's got to go. Jericho, help us out. Jericho, click, click. Oh, I can't believe that. You know Jericho. What? You just made the list. Oh, no. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> That's right, folks. Brandon Dang. Cooler is officially on the list. Since he didn't want to show up, I'm sure we have, do we have a suitable replacement, if not better? Yeah, yeah can, Rock, we get Jaleel, can we get Jaleel White? <laughs> or Dave Chappelle? Wait, you know, I know where Doolin's really at. A, a very fact, I know where he is. He's getting ready to play the um, Tanya Harding role to um, take out Nikki Bella. I'm just saying. Um, Why, why is me and Jocelyn the only one tap dancing? What the fuck? <laughs> because you haven't played Rich Swan yet, so it kind of doesn't work out so well. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. Do we have anybody else who wants to come in and run their mouth? Not yet, but ladies and gentlemen, let's bring it down to this Sunday night. What's going to happen this Sunday night? Oh, man. Are y'all ready? Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let me let me take off my cowboy jersey and put on a Patriots jersey. Ah, oh. folks, you heard it here first. That is right, folks. Super Bowl Fifty One this Sunday. The as hot Atlanta Falcons. Oh boy, here we go. The hot Atlanta Falcons taking on the New England Patriots. Hopefully, this game will have fully inflated balls. Hopefully, there won't be any cameras trying to catch plays. And hopefully, by the grace of the God, the Patriots. And the Falcons, both of them bring their A game. We got number one offense taking on the number one defense. Fact is, you have expecting nothing less than a giant slugfest. Now, bear this in mind. The last time there was a scandal in New England, they didn't finish so well in the Super Bowl. However, they did recover. Now, Tom Brady was out for the first four games of the season, as everybody knows. Uh, he came back. And he played a Super Bowl game of Rogers and said, have you met these nuts? Because the fact that Tom Brady went rough shot over the entire AFC, flat out, let's look at the last, last, the last couple weeks for them. After, the bye, after their bye week, 
they curved stunt Brock Osweiler, and now he's trying to remember if he is in his 30s or if he's still like a little puppy trying to throw a football. Then they go to Big Ben Roethlisberger. They beat his ass so bad that he's actually thinking about retiring. That's tragic. Then you got the Falcons. The Falcons pretty much sat here and cock-flapped the shit out of the Seattle Seahawks, then turned around and made Aaron Rodgers their bitch in every sense of the word in the NFC Championship game. Now we have the two biggest teams, or at least the two last teams standing, in a matter of speaking, battling it out in Houston for the right to be called to, uh, I wouldn't say called, I would say the right to say that they're the champs that run the camp, the faces that run these places, and, of course, scream out loud and proud when that trophy hands them that the champs are here. I have enough WWE references for this moment. Falcons, Patriots, let's run it off. Fire him up, Joe. Let's see, see, see who's got enough balls to jump in on this one. Well, who we well. got? Who we got? Rock and Reese, where you at, man? Ready? I'm ready. There you go. Uh, matter of fact, before I do, I want to dedicate this one to somebody very special, namely oh, you, Joseph so Bell. Oh no, this uh, ain't going to be this ain't going to be that type of dedication. Ah, uh, stop. Oh, yeah. you're too kind. To that, yeah. I want to dedicate this to that coward Roosevelt Christopher Robinson who did not have the balls to show up on this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Get up, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Get up, bro. Yeah, before you start polishing up that and start polishing up to getting them Sam Adams ready, think you're going to celebrate number five. Pause, because it ain't going to happen, Captain. Because you want to know why the Falcons are going to be like you were in 2001. And Ron, I'm sorry, i got to bring up an old flashback. Because oh, you remember how the St. Louis Rams had, like, a really, really great team, looked like they was going to be the dynasty, but then oh. along came Tom Brady and then – and one of the perhaps biggest upsets, even though uh, we all know the asterisk by it. Yeah, well, except this one won't have an asterisk that by it because the Falcons are going to punch Tom Brady in the fucking mouth so hard that he's going to be softer than Chris Humphrey's feelings after Kim Kardashian broke up with him. Ouch. Why? Why is me and Justin, Hold on. Why are me and Justin the only ones doing the jitterbug? What the fuck? I'm pissed, you know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm at, I'm at the lost words here. I honestly, I gave Ro the infamous challenge of coming in here. I said that all the Patriots fans to show up and just run their mouth and talk some shit, you guys. But apparently, we have zero nuts between oh. any of the Patriots fans. In this conference tonight, because no Patriots hey, fans. Hey, 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 uh, hey, 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 I didn't mean to cut nobody off, but I'm not no Patriots fan, but I am a Falcons hater. Oh, wow. Yeah. He did it. He did it. He did it. I, 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 despise the Falcons. I despise the Falcons with a good damn heart. I'd rather see the, I'd rather see the, I'd rather see the, I'd rather see the evil empire win another one than the Falcons win a first one. Ouch! Oh, 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 Fuck your couch. Fuck <laughs> your couch. Uh, hater is in the house. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. I I tell you what. Hey, I'm on the left. I'm in the left. I'm in the right. I'm in the middle of this bitch. I'm all over this motherfucker. I'm drinking your coffee. I'm drinking your coffee. I'm leaving the toilet seat up. The whole. I'm using your good towel. I'm wiping my hands on your good towel. I'm drinking my coffee. Hey, I'm, you, I'm wiping uh, my, you, I'm you wiping my hands on your good towel. We're going to have a fight for real. Oh, I'm wiping right. my hands on your good towel you're not supposed to use. You yeah. mess up my good towel. We're going to have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Like, 
Like folks is like literally like I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. The Falcons finally have a nice little team on them, but it is not going to happen. Oh, and shit. I'll tell you I'll tell you why. That defense is too young. Damn. That defense is too young to go come clean out of character. And Matt Ryan has been known to unravel when the lights get bright. Brady and that team, dude, he has a team like the team is like on defense. They replace dudes, let dudes go, replace them, let dudes go, replace them on that defense. And on the offense. He's done he's done more with little. Or more in this case more with less. So if you think the Falcons gonna roll up in there and like just start running the score up, you obviously don't know football. You obviously have not been watching the Patriots. Damn. Uh, God. Dude, the now, Pittsburgh wait, Steelers. What? The Pittsburgh Steelers run damn near the same offense. They roll in and they drop 30, 40 points on dudes. What makes you think they can't slow the, uh, the Falcons down like that? Hey, hey, not to not to cut you off, T5, but Rock and Reese, I need you to repeat that, what you just said a few minutes ago. Oh, what, well, I just said, oh, what about the uh, Falcons going to come in and punch Tom Brady in the mouth, that he'll be softer than um, Chris Humphrey's feelings after Kim Kardashian broke up with him? That That's and the it. fact that you called out who again? Oh, Mr. Roosevelt. <clears throat> Christopher oh, wow. Robinson. Break the wall! Oh, 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 he showed up. <laughs> oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, please welcome the man, the myth, the legend. If you have been paying attention, now you know we have a Patriots fan in the house, a legitimate one, no less, who's been trash talking me for about the past four and a half weeks. Mr. Will about Robinson has joined the party. Will, welcome to the shit. Oh, okay, okay, Reese. First yeah, of all, oh, please, nobody, wait, wait a minute. Nobody's going to punch Tom Brady in mouth because Tom Brady's going to cut the fucking fucking wings on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that fucking straight. Matty Ice is going to be on ice Monday, on Sunday. And he's going to need some ice Monday because, ooh, they're about to light that nigga up. They're about to light that nigga up. If you, if you yeah, never please. seen... If you haven't seen the more hungry Tom Brady before, oh, he's hungry now. Because he got made look like a fool because of Spygate. I mean, the Flygate or whatever. The Flygate. Keep, keep, keep your own scandal straight. <laughs> so, okay. What up, Reese? What up? Hold on. What are you talking? Come on. What are you? I mean, Wait, are you? Doing? Come on, I, just, I thought you still had more, bro. <laughs> are, you are you finished or are you done? Are you I done, bro? I ain't finished, but I, ain't finished, but I, I want to hear Mr. Rock and Ray, Mr. 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 All right, Mr. All right hold on, hold on. First of all, all right, hold on. Let me um, let me cut you off right there since you uh, ain't got nothing else to say. First of all, y'all play in the AFC East. That division is softer than melted ice cream, bro. Y'all don't really see anybody. <laughs> oh, and um, oh, and uh, let me remind you okay. of something. Uh, okay. You want to know who the Falcons' defense is kind of like? Oh, let me tell you about the last team that whooped the ass, namely last year's Broncos. Do you remember how many times Tom Brady was on his back more than every every member of the Kardashian family? Yeah, Tom okay. Brady was on his back so okay. much that he looked like he was built. He was the entire AVN Awards, bro. And guess what? <laughs> it's fixing to happen again because everybody done slept on the Atlanta. Look at, uh, damn near half the season. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got more for you, bro. I got more for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Here we go. Yeah. Everybody right, just jumped on Atlanta. Jumped thought they was going to lose to Seattle. They just got the asshole. 
Everybody thought Green Bay was going to beat Atlanta. We saw, as Captain Ron said, Aaron Rodgers got made to look like an even bigger bitch with Atlanta than he is with Olivia Munn when she tries to stick up for him about his family. God damn it. Tom Brady, oh, 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 after oh, Sunday, wow. you want to talk Run about it. needing some ice? Tom Brady going to have to move to Alaska or Antarctica because the Falcons' defense is going to put, put something on him so much that, hell, even the entire continent of Antarctica won't be able to heal his body up in time. And, Ouch. And guess what? You know what? Houston – they is going to have a problem because they ain't going to be a doctor or to all the horses and all the king's men that will never put Tom Brady back again. Step Ouch. up, bitch. Ouch. Are you, are, you, are you finished or are you done yet? Uh, <laughs> I, I already, hey, I just threw down the mic, bro. Step up. You, you know what? You know what? Okay. I can what? hear that. Bronco, Bronco they, do, they do play a defense like the Broncos do, you know. But you know what, though? Last year, our offensive line was fucked. But this year, we're not playing with the injuries that we had last year. This year, we have a, we have a healthy team. Yet, we're missing Gronk, but still, it don't look like we need Gronk out there. If we had Gronk out there, boy, we wouldn't even be having this damn discussion. Gronk gives y'all a slimmer, a slimmer of a chance. Oh. But but the fact that Brady don't want to be made look like a fool, that gives the Patriots a big chance. Wow. You you're not you're not look you're not look you just look at you just look at it from that defensive standpoint or whatever. Oh, is that right? Well, let's see. <laughs> you know, I'll give t- I'll give you the Gronk argument a little. A little bit, although truth be told, I don't think even with Gronk in, it wouldn't have mattered one thing because, like I said, you got a Falcons team that since you missed the Patriot, yeah, you should know this better than anybody. Remember how everybody said y'all ain't had no team back in 2001 when y'all was playing the Rams in that Super Bowl? But yet, y'all made Kurt Warner look average. As a matter of fact, y'all made Kurt Warner look like Ryan fucking Leaf. In that Ouch. Super Bowl. And guess what? He said Ryan now, I Leaf. Gonna say, yes, I Ryan mean. Leaf? Yeah, not only Ryan Leaf, hell, I'll throw in to Marcus Russell. You throw in any quarterback that was a bust, and I'll say the Patriots made him look like that. But now, y'all on the other side, can y'all handle the pressure? And let me, let me throw a bonus question for you. What's going to happen to all that goat talk if, hypothetically speaking, the Falcons wind up beating the Patriots, then that's going to be three losses Damn. and two teams that y'all, uh, everybody had y'all favored to beat, namely twice to the Giants and now to the Falcons, who, by the way, ain't done jack shit their entire franchise's history. Well... <laughs> And your argument is, hold on, bro, are you, are you sounding like Fresh? Oh, Ooh. bro. Oh, damn. 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 Really? You had to go there. Hey, wait, 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 wait. See, I'm like Fresh. My team is in the Super Bowl. Ooh. Oh, 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 my team is in the Super Bowl. Where your team oh, at? They okay. don't watch it. Oh, and now, wait, wait, wait. Bro, 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 bro. Before you start going to listen that are in this conference right now, bear this in mind. Fresh had your back until you said that. Right. Just, you know, out there for you. <laughs> well, it's the truth, shit. Where are the Packers? The Packers at home. Watching wow. the fucking Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm going to go Good. Yo, Captain, Dude. I got a question to ask you. Dude. Uh, someone like, would like to come in tonight and, and give you his thoughts on his New Orleans Saints. Who that? This guy is an entrepreneur. This oh. guy is a comedy oh. legend writer. Oh, this, well. this guy loves TLC, 
tables, ladders, and chairs. Well, 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 who could possibly want to come and grace us with our presence? I mean, who? 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 This guy writes classic jokes like, what did the band say to the Sunday? Let's split. What? This guy wrote another classic. What did the tree say to the leaves? Really? It's almost autumn. Oh, really? my God. This guy is the owner of BrandonDuelingJokes.com. Give it up for the chaotic trickster. <laughs> no! <laughs> now that, now that, well, okay, okay. For, some, for someone that you like to mock a lot, that's a that's a hell of an intro. That's a hell of an intro. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. A few things. A few things. One, I'm about as much Did of a legend, a legend of comedy, you and you're a legend of booking. Oh no! Oh, here we go. And and then and then really as as my, look, as far as my saints go, I don't have anything to say because T5 already said it for me. I'm not a Patriots. Okay. I'm not a Patriots fan, but I sure hope they beat the shit out of Atlanta. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to mark this day on your calendar today, February first, two thousand and seventeen. Literally a few hours before before that crazy ass fucking groundhog, or the season shadow or not, Brandon Dooling, the man who preaches about us talking about wrestling and nothing else, just talked about Same. everything else except for wrestling. Mark it on your calendars, folks. <laughs> so that being said, I mean it, it, it's actually it's actually great that you know Ro actually got the gracious with his presence and everything else. But I'm kind of bummed, Joe. You know, I'm 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 really bummed. Oh, why is that? I'm bummed because I was really hoping for this crazy white guy with slick back hair who has been talking shit to me for the last two weeks. Bruce Willis? Just coming in here and (laughs) just (laughs) on a deep end about how great Boston is. He went on about the Bruins. He went on about the Celtics. Oh, wait a minute. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm crushed right now because he could have been gracing with his presence, and he's one of the biggest Patriots fans I know. So I'm going to basically do a call out on my own. T.M. Hick! You did all this trash talking to me. You ran your mouth over the last few weeks about how great the Patriots were. You and Ro both. I'll give Ro this much. Apparently, in the midst of all this controversy, he found his nuts the minute the Patriots were winning and not trolling. But I'll give this much. Patriots fans will run their mouths when they're winning. But what is going to happen if they lose? Maybe that's why CM Higgins is there. Maybe that's why he didn't have enough common courtesy to actually show up and defend his beloved Patriots. He sent Ro to do his damn dirty work. Ouch. Get up, Ro. I'm bummed. I'm bummed about it. I'm crushed. And I'm hurt. Get up, but then Ro. again, on a consolation uh, prize, uh, 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 we do uh, have Brandon uh, Dooling. Mr. Mr. Ron, um, where are your St. Louis Rams? Oh, yeah. They're in L.A. Ah, 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 ah. They're in Los Angeles, goddammit. Is that right? You know, I was going to keep quiet about the whole Super Bowl thing, but I'm going to, you know what, I am going to chime in now. Yeah, my team left St. Louis and went to L.A., and how well did that work out for them? Oh, right. They were more in the gutter this year than they were in last year. At least in their last season, they won more games than they did in their first season in L.A. Oh, and that big billion-dollar thing you're building for the Rams and the Chargers? Yeah, you're going to get a good investment on that one. Two teams that literally suck, swallow, and spit all at the same damn time. Good job. Mm-hmm. Great job mm-hmm. with that. But, but, speaking of spit, swallow, and suck, let's talk about those Patriots. Ouch. Oh, yeah, I'm going there. Since, since, since we all these Patriots fans running their mouths all of a sudden. Hey, New England. Remember that last time y'all were feeling bold and cocky and figured y'all had, like, all the tools to win it? 
How did that work out for you? Oh, shit, that's right. Eli Manning made Tom Brady his bitch. And what about that last time you guys had a controversial thing? Yeah, I went like this whole... Yeah. Oh, right. You got sick of Scott. Oh, right. Y'all off to Eli Manning again. The Patriots literally have an easy streak to get to because pretty much the British... Didn't, didn't they today. win one last time? Oh, between, oh, between, oh. between 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 oh. Eli and, and this year, didn't they win another one? Between Eli and this year, they won one a couple of years ago against... Russell Wilson, Seattle. apparently. Seattle. They yeah, they exactly. Yeah. So you're bringing up old stuff. Like, they ain't going to be a right. 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 the only reason, And the only reason they won that is because the Seahawks suddenly forgot that Marshawn Lynch was tearing their asses apart. There That's pretty much. Hey, That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing. The biggest X factor of right now is the fact that they were playing and winning with the hopes – that the hopes and prayers of all those Bostonians all over the world that Ron, Rob Gronkowski would be back. Dude, hey! he was giving – dude, out for Tom Brady has, has been winning more games with less talent on his damn offense, bruh. They That's running the, the ball with – This is they the Super three- Bowl. It don't matter about talent. If you are that damn good, if the Patriots are as good as everybody says there is, the Falcons shouldn't even even hold a chance. But so this is the exact same pack, same same Falcons team that just beat the Green Bay Packers, who the week before just beat the hottest team in football. And no, not the Patriots, the Dallas Cowboys. And <laughs> two. Uh, whoa, the whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Were, no, I'm going there. No, 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 I'm going there. The Patriots want to talk about how good they are. Let's talk about how good they are. Yes, Tom Brady is back and they came back. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about Jim Cowboys? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Let's get it. Hold on. Hold on. Since Ro wants to be all higgly giggly right now, let's get something else straight. Tom Brady, yeah, yeah, he may have four rings. He only won one of those Super Bowls because those other three, two came off of one Adam Vinatieri, who then turned around and wow, he, and then beat you. Don't, don't Adam Vinatieri <laughs> play for the Patriots? Oh, no. Didn't he play for the Patriots? Hold on. You make it sound like the dude didn't play Hold on. Because who won the game, though? Was it Vinatieri or was it Brady? It was so, Vinatieri. So Adam Vinatieri marched that team down the field, got them in field goal position, and then kicked the ball? Yeah, okay. uh, so if I give you this rope, you can go hang yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tom Brady is so great, my right. brother. Why did he put the ball in the air? No, 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 no. Because Adam Vinatieri is passing the ball, too. Adam Vinatieri is passing oh. the ball. Oh, he's oh, right. He's, oh, he's oh, marching. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you oh, said he won the game. Point. You said he won the game. So that means Adam Vinatieri... Was Adam, it Adam Vinatieri put the points up, or was it Vinatieri who put the points up? It was is Adam Vinatieri the one that passed the ball and got them in field goal range? Is Adam, is Adam Vinatieri the one that got them in field goal range? Oh, who's calling me out? He marched down the field. Whoa, 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 whoa. Field and- whoa. I'm blowing the whistle. I'm blowing the whistle here. All right, I'm going to ask you the biggest question, the biggest question that literally both sides can literally go on, and simply put like this. If the Patriots lose on Sunday night, if they lose to the Atlanta Falcons, are you blaming Tom Brady for not showing up? Are you blaming Bill? Are, are, are you blaming Bill Belichick for not actually having the right A game? Are you going to blame the Patriots because they didn't bring back a Super Bowl trophy with all these fans? Who are the Patriots going to blame for that loss on Sunday? It depends, if it on, who, it depends on how they lose. If, 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 if Tom Brady, if Tom Brady, lose, Tom Brady in the offense, if the Tom lose, Brady in the off, if Tom Brady in the offense puts up enough points, and it's the defense, then they go blame the defense. They go blame Belichick no! and the defense. Oh, now, if Tom no. Brady, what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Sorry, what do you mean, oh, no? Fans. Do you not watch I'm football? Sorry, fans. You guys are wrong. I know how this music works. If it basically comes down to it, and let's apparently, just say apparently you do. Enlighten I, us. Enlighten us, Swami. It is the same fans that got pissed off at Tom Brady when he literally choked 
against Eli Manning and the Giants not once but twice. People are going to blame Tom Brady because people are calling Tom Brady, and I quote, the greatest of all time. You call him Bro, the greatest of all time. Like you mad you for some reason, to dog. Up. Is you, is you bitter, dude? It sounds like you bitter Patriots hater, bro. Ouch. Not, and not, I, and I'm a known hater. I'm a known hater. Real, I'm a known hater. Real recognize Brady, real, bro. I, I, I'm sorry. If Tom Brady was in, if basically wasn't with Tom Brady, do you think the Patriots would have actually won all these Super Bowls? No. Not a chance. Never going to happen. Not going to get it. You can't object to that one. If not for Tom Brady... The Patriots, nobody give two fucks about them. To put your Dude, words I am the dark nobody emperor of haters. I am the dark emperor of haters. I know hate when I see it. I know well, hate when I hear it, bro. Just go ahead on and admit. Black enough to be him. <laughs> oh, I know Kathy Cornball ain't on here trying to joke nobody. <laughs> well, that's what I said in the The only Super Bowl the Patriots played in, or the two that they played in that Tom Brady wasn't involved in, they lost, and that includes Super Bowl 31 when Brett Favre slapped the shit out of Drew Brees. So, so when Tom Brady was the guy, what happened? They won. They only lost two. If not for Tom Brady, if Bill Belichick even coach that game, what did that Tom Brady? If Tom Brady was not playing in the Super Bowl on Sunday, the Patriots dude, you was a hater. Stop it, bro! Stop it! You was a hater. Pete Carroll was a damn coach back then. Be careful, the goddamn way. coach. You was a pure ass way. hater. How many ways for Bill? How many ways for Bill? Stop, stop, stop. You're saying say I'm a hater, but here's the thing. How many how many rings does Bill Belichick have? Jesus, Mary, Casey, and JoJo, bro. He was a pure oh, ass hater. <laughs> how many? How many? How many stop, bro. How many stop rings does Bill Belichick have? How many rings does Bill Belichick have? Stop, you bury yourself. Just admit that you're a pure ass hater. And and I'm just saying. Dude, you a hater, bro. Stop it. You're a hater. If Tom you Brady just don't was like playing, him, dude. If Tom Brady was not playing on Sunday, the Patriots would probably lose the Super Bowl. Plain and simple. If you could say the Patriots could win the Super Bowl without Tom Brady, I would literally. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll put it like this. Dude, I never, the said they was. Was. I never said I they was. I never said they was, bro. I will make a simple, simple way to all so you think, out there. So you think the Falcons will win without Matt Ryan? No, 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 no. I will make a simple way right now. I'll make a simple way. So would you think, every, would you think the Falcons will win without Matt Ryan? I will make every, I'll, I'll make every, just wait to every Patriots fan on the face of the planet right here, right now. Look, he's even going in that Patriots fan. That's how big a hater this dude is. If the Patriots can win a football without Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, I will literally fly to Boston. I will kiss Tom Brady's ass. No, you I won't. Will really, <laughs> right? No, you no, no, no. will. Oh, yeah, I fucking will. Yes, I fucking will. I will literally kiss Tom Brady's ass if they can do it without him <laughs> or Belichick. Yeah, the look at this dude. Look at this dude. Totally he, wants them, he wants them to win without their coach and their quarterback. What kind of hater? That's a hater. That's a hater. That's a hater. They can't win it, and they proved it. The Patriots weren't shit what until Belichick and Brady showed up. Dude, dude, name a team in the NFL that can win without their coach and their quarterback, ass. Dude, <laughs> you're, you're, a you're a hater. You're a hater. I'm a hater. Stop it. I'm a hater. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nobody gave a shit about the Patriots before Belichick and Brady showed up. <laughs> so who's the hater? You're you a hater. Hate you. No, you. No, 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 no. You. The only, the only reason that you say I'm hate is because your organization apparently came up flat this year, too. <laughs> the Patriots <laughs> already in the team, bro. I have no more stories, bro. Can I ask you something right now, right now, right now, right now. I knew where to go, I'm going there. Can I, can I ask something right now, please? Sure. Go. Okay. Ron, who's, who's your team? Who's your team? I think the Rams. Then what do you know? Your team's the Rams? You got a couple of haters. <laughs> a couple of haters? <laughs> A couple of haters? No, 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 no. Let me let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. Prior to them getting all of their pieces, especially for their defense, who was really giving a shit about them? Nobody. Anybody outside of L.A. or St. L.A. or St. Louis, nobody gave a shit. But the same stop thing pretty much goes there. Stop it. Here's <laughs> here. It's hater in the house. Hater in the house. 
Enzo, where you at, bro? Enzo, where you at, man? A, a couple of haters? We got a couple of haters. A couple of haters. A couple of haters. A couple of haters. Jam, is this really how guys get during these football season? Of course. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. We are actually Ron far worse than that. Rain, like, I see Ron got that hate for, for Tom Brady like Trump got for Muslims. That, that, nigga sat, that nigga sat there and went back, man, they didn't care about the Patriots until Belichick and Brady. That nigga don't like the Patriots fans. That's hate. That is hate. The next time, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. Don't ever compare to that good-for-nothing slap who pretty much will give himself impeached within the first month of this fucking, fucking president. No. <laughs> well, 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 it's a shit. You hate it. You hate it. Don't you compare it. But hold on though, but the biggest hater is actually on their own deal. the biggest hater is actually uh, married to a quarterback. Because let me let me do a little uh check. Remember a couple years ago when um Julian Edelman got thrown under the bus by uh Mrs. Tom Brady, aka Giselle? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. She wanted him thrown off the damn team. But and no. he's the reason why we're playing the fucking Super Bowl. He boy he He's picking up the slack where Gronk pretty much just on his eyes like, yeah, party time. Damn me laugh. <laughs> and your point is? Let's, oh, let's get down to the okay, let's get down to the, let's get down to the win, win, right here, right now. So when they win, who they do we have people. in here? Who, who, who do we have in here right now? Because we're going to pick, we're, literally, you call them out and you pick. Patriots. Falcons, let's just get the picks out the way right here, right now. We'll see where everybody stands, and then you can do your shit talking some all more. Right. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me put everybody on mute real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl Sunday going down. Start off with you, Captain Ronaldo. Man, you know, everybody been throwing their points. Come on, start off for us, bro. Bottom line is, is that everybody's giving favorite press figure and the Patriots are there, and then all of a sudden it's almost a guarantee. How I many – this has literally happened twice before. People are not giving Atlanta enough credit. They earned their way to actually get there. And, no, this is not taking away from Tom Brady. He's got some good numbers and everything, but the fact is, is that I may have a personal stake in this because Tom Brady beat my Rams a few years ago. How you doing? It don't matter. Fact is that this is the one time I'm actually looking forward to Super Bowl because this may be the one time people are wrong. So my pick, Super Bowl 51, is going to be the New England wrong. Not going to happen. It's going to be the Atlanta Falcons. I pick it up there. The Falcons are going to actually upset the Patriots in Super Bowl 51. Good Lord Almighty. All right, all right, all right. I see you there. I see you there. Man, let's bring it back all the way. Rock and Reese, you got one minute. Shoot. Falcons are taking it hands down. Well, you had to unmute me first, bro. Falcons are taking it hands down. I'm, I'm telling you, that Patriots defense, which Roe likes to praise so much, is beyond overrated. They, yeah, they may have given up the fewest points in the league, but in reality, who did they really play most of this season? Not too many teams. They're playing a real team Sunday, and they're going to find out the hard way what Seattle and Green Bay found out, that the Falcons are for real. Rise up, Atlanta. Oh, wow. Nice. Man. T- T5, don't let me down. Here we go, bro. Who you got, man? Man, I got the Patriots, and not because of the, the Falcons' hate, but because we're going to hit you with some facts. Who did they play this year? The Patriots' defense actually played the Pittsburgh Steelers, who, are, who play a lot like the Atlanta Falcons. So if you shade out Julio Jones, you're going to force, especially with – Belichick is like Batman with prep. You give this dude two weeks, she's going she gonna to figure out a way to get to your, your offense. You take away Julio, you're going to force the rest of that team to beat you. And if, it, if you go back and forward, shading Julio, 
Double team the other dude. Double team Julio, shade the other dude. And then the defense, the Falcons defense has been playing pretty good, but not good enough to stop Tom Brady. He has enough weapons to keep scoring. So in other words, it's going to come up to whose defense is going to blink first. I trust Belichick's defense more than I, ch- I trust the Falcons' defense because the Falcons' secondary is super suspect. Trust me, they give up points. There so, you go. There you so go. there you go. I got the pass. I got the pass. He got, he got the pass. You know what, T5, I'm going to back you up on this one. Let's go, Pats! Damn, two to two. Who we got next? Who we got next? Let's go down the line. Damn, let's go with. Oh, sh- I wonder who this guy's gonna vote. Ro, you got one minute. Shoot, man, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, Ro, this shit froze. Go ahead. <laughs> um, 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 um. I'm going yeah. with. Not with you haters. I'm going with the New England Patriots. Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, wow. And, Joe, we can honestly pencil in Tim Hick in this one. I'm pretty sure he's going to go Patriots, too. So that puts it up four, four to two right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. Uh, bringing it back to Southern California. Hey, now, Johnson, you got two seconds. Go. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah. New England Patriots, there you go. There it is. Uh. Is that what she said? What did she say? I'm not a two boy. Who are you picking, honey? The Patriots. All right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, bad impression. You know what? Because you did that, Joe, I'm going to make Joplin pick the pocket. Let her pick it. Joplin. <laughs> Patriots or Falcons? Who's it going to be? Patriots. There we go. Okay, now it's a legitimate pick for the Patriots. Uh, Who we got man. next? Somebody's sleeping on the couch. Anyways, give it up for the chaotic trickster. Who you got, man? Who you got? And you got one full minute. That's what she said. Hello. <laughs> Patriots and T5 already said it for me. I don't really have anything left to say. Oh, well, all right then. Oh, I mean, I mean, well, I, I don't really have anything more to bring up. T five already said all of it for me, so. so you the know. fact that we just actually got you to have a conversation about football and not wrestling—that's just pretty much a godsend for me, right there. See, see, <laughs> see that—that that is a clear indication of how long you how long you've been out of the conference, Ron. Ooh. I'm sorry. It, it wasn't my fault. I'm not. I'm, I never said it was your. I never said it was your fault. I'm just saying you've been out of the conference a long time. If you think wrestling's the only thing I talk about, just saying. And well, Natty. you know, no, yeah, there's that. You know. Oh, we we, we do have a right hand vote. Uh, Jason Bradley just announced that he's going. Yeah, he's picking Falcons. Sorry, big ticket is actually going Falcons. This guy. Give him, give him a big booty white girl and he'll he'll change his vote. No <laughs> hurt. <laughs> uh, Not unless she's from the ATL. <laughs> there ain't oh. no big booty girls in Boston. Shout out to all the big booty girls in in, in New England. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, good luck finding them. All right. Hello. Who's next on our list? Oh man. Hopefully he's not fresh and give it up for fresh. <laughs> okay, don't <laughs> she's Yo fresh, who, yo, fresh, who you got, man? Patriots or Falcons on this one? And please don't be shy about it. No, man, I'm a, I, I want to see Atlanta get the Super Bowl. I, I do. I truly do. I think they play hard all season. They truly deserve it. I mean, if, you, if you make it there, you must deserve to be there. So, you know. Damn. What you got on the scoreboard, Ron? All right. It's looking like six. Four favor of the Patriots. So who we got next? Last but not least, the RGW World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Kenneth Kings. What you got, man? You got one minute shoot, bro. It's gonna be Atlanta all the way. I don't oh, care what people say. I don't care what anybody else says. It's gonna be the Falcons. Dig that. That's all I gotta say. Do, really? do, do, do Alabama, wait, do Alabama even have a fucking team? 
don't matter. It don't matter. Oh, 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 Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Um, we have some a uh, little bit of breaking news here. We actually have a pick that just got busted me by my good friend Rob Risen. If you don't know who Rob Risen is, he is uh, an indie star who has been on NFT and is actually on the uh, TNA tomorrow night for Open Fight Night. He is actually sending my pick because he couldn't call into the show tonight. Rob Risen is picking the what? Okay, for the record, Rob Rison is a diehard Patriots fan. I'm just letting you know this right now. <laughs> well, that – oh, wait a minute. But his pick is, is the score? Atlanta Falcons. Oh, wow. Come on now. Damn. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Who the hell is Rob Rison? Roll – roll – roll off the road right now. I just – I just think it's Matt Ryan. It's Matt Ryan's here, man. Ryan, 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 man. Ryan, can't argue with numbers, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You know what, though? You know what, though? I will say this, though. May the best team win, but you play whoever's in front of you. So, Atlanta deserves to get there. Patriots deserve to get there. They both got there. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Right. I mean, I, now, what, now, what Atlanta did to Green Bay – I definitely don't see them doing that to the Patriots. <laughs> nope. Nah, nah, they're not, their receiver's not going to be dropping past him like the Green Bay was. <laughs> like, Julio Jones ain't going to get freaky on Bill Belichick like he did. Oh, no. He never oh, said not that. Sorry, but in the interest of fairness, there ain't no fire alarms to pull. I think the Patriots are going to rely too much on that running game against that big top rank running defense. Plus, Unfortunately, you guys are expecting a guy named Hogan to save your ass in the absence of Gronk. So, I'm sorry, brother, but this might be a bad time for you, little dudes. But that's the thing about it. The Patriots don't just – the Falcons' defense, one, don't stop the run. Two, they don't stop the pass. So, what are they going to stop? If they can the stop, stop the – The Patriots, I, I'm the sorry, Patriots, the Patriots got three – The Patriots got three running backs they can rely on. They do power, they do screens, and they do and they can cut around the end. Then you got the Definitely. receiving game. The Falcons don't stop the pass. You oh, still wait, got wait, more. Wait, t- wait, they wait, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say the Falcons don't stop the pass? Yeah, um, I said the Falcons don't stop the pass. Tell Dude, him, bro. I see them. Wait, I see wait, them wait, two wait, times wait, a year. Did you, you think? Oh, did you watch the Seattle game or the Green Bay game? You were Thank you. Yeah, yeah I also saw the Lex get in 200 bro, yards. Time out. Go. Time out. I also saw the Saints game, too. Saints Thank came you. back at the end of that damn game, dude. They don't stop the pass. Thank but you. they apparently figured out how to stop the pass against not one, but two Super Bowl MVPs in a span of eight. So I'm pretty sure that kind of means they learned dude, something. did you see that Green Bay game? Did you not see the yeah. receivers dropping them damn passes? Wow. Mm-hmm. Who's to say it won't happen on Hello? Sunday? Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. So you think so you're telling me the Patriots the Patriots receivers been catching the ball all year. You telling me so all of a sudden you'll go against Green Bay, I mean all uh, the Falcons, and just start dropping passes? Well you tell okay. me. I mean they were okay. I mean the Patriots beat their ass ass beat Dallas. Come on, Cleaters, come on, Cleaters. I mean, the I, I, I think I think that we – it's a wait and see with Atlanta's defense. You just got to see what defense shows up. Are we going to get the defense that can't stop the pass, that can't stop the run, or are we going to get the defense that pull hat tricks out their ass and, and do what they did to Green Bay and do exactly. what they did to Seattle? Because the thing about it is, the thing about it is Green Bay – that's the thing about it. Green Bay, Seattle, Patriots all run different offenses. Green Bay was stupid. They thought they didn't need a running back to stick back there and run their ball. They gave up running the ball in the first quarter. Bill Belichick is not going to do that. Josh McDaniels is not going to do that. Well, well, Seattle, Seattle, we, we Seattle really offense, Seattle we'll offense, been back. offensive line been weak all year. Definitely. So you, so you can scratch that right there. The Patriots ain't been doing that. 
You you talk about three different offenses. Damn. Yeah. Bro, so, so, bro, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, you're kind of quiet over there, man. What's going on? Huh? Oh, That's Can't trump facts, dog. Ooh. Bro. He's still yeah. thinking about I mean, it. Hold on. He, he's over at DuelingJokes.com. Down, downloading some hot <laughs> hits. <laughs> here's, what, here's, what, here's, what, here's what it basically comes down to on this one is that uh, the Patriots have quite arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time pretty much leading this charge. If Tom Brady does what Tom Brady has always done in big game situations, and, yes, I hate to compare Tom Brady to John Cena, but it's about the exact gist of it, big match situations, Tom Brady would be the quarterback that most people would actually pick because he's that guy. Nobody would ever pick Matt Ryan. Nobody would ever expect the Falcons to even be there. Everybody was already – every Packers fan was punching their ticket to the Super Bowl the minute that they beat Dallas. That's just bona fide – that's just bona fide fact. But ah, the fact man. is right here is that what's going to save the Patriots is that running game because the guy who's running – who's basically the running back, when he's the one that starts against the Patriots, the Patriots are 16-0 and 0 when he starts. Pure proven fact. When he's on his A game, the Patriots are unstoppable. Falcons can stop that running game. They're going to have to literally put the ball in Tom Brady's hands, which in some cases wouldn't be much of a problem. But in this case, that defense can wake up at any time on either side. So this game may act. This game is still going to go down as one of the best games of all time. But in the same sense, there is that possibility that Tom Brady is great. Yeah, but he may not be the guy on Sunday. You know what? Shoot. You guys just need to shut up. <laughs> well, shit. I guess on that note, I guess you got to call it a happy day. <laughs> All right, then. Whatever you say, darling. We love you so much. We will kill it right now. We will delete it right now. Joe, we have a, a, anybody else or anything else you want to chime on tonight? All right. Uh, one, one quick question. MVP, who you guys got? Matt Ryan. Damn. There's MVPs I, too? Of course. I'm saying, I'm saying either Matt Ryan or Tom Brady, depending on who wins. Well, MVP, Tom Brady, Super Bowl pick, Patriots, period. Uh, I, I think Matt Ryan had a better year than Tom Brady. That's, he, that's just the, the numbers. Had a better year. <laughs> league MVP, league MVP. I'll give it to Matt Ryan, yep. okay. just because yeah. he, just because he's season outplayed Tom Brady. But right, Super Bowl this, MVP probably gonna be Tom gonna, Brady. That's Tom Brady. That'll, that'll be Tom Brady if the Patriots win. Mm. But so league MVP, league MVP. That's Matt Ryan. Because them four Matt guys Ryan. Them four guys Tom Brady. Wait, hold what's on, the difference me, between all of that? Hold on, let me fucking take this goddamn new jersey. <laughs> Fucking New England, sure. that damn jersey off. Anyways, how about them Cowboys? <laughs> what a band. And we're back. I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Losing their first like playoff game this year like they always do. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 and before, and before you, before you say anything, oh, before, before you say, and before you say anything about how. Our, how how the Saints were not in the playoffs this year. Hey, maybe we weren't in the playoffs this year, but at least every time we do get to the playoffs, we still win a freaking game or two. Okay, okay, hold on, little guy. Hold on, little guy. Hold on, little guy. Let, 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 let me tell you. Let, you me, you can, hey, you can call me a little guy all you want, but you can call me the guy that just that just drowned your ass with some fat. Look, little guy, speaking of dr- speaking. Speaking of Who's drowning, like and speak, speaking of drowning, and I'm not gonna go there. The only reason the <laughs> the only reason New Orleans won the fucking Super Bowl it was because super uh fucking Katrina. Okay, simple as that. America <laughs> scared to say it. He's one of them. He's one of them. America, America is embarrassed to say it. Oh, hey everybody. Everybody else one of them. He's one of those guys. Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, um, wow. Oh, oh, you want to go there? Oh, Let's go there. Man. Oh, you want to go there? Oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't think you were one oh, of those guys. You want to oh, go there? Let's go there, little guy. Oh, the, only reason they, the only reason the state won is because of Hurricane Katrina. The only reason they won is because of Hurricane Katrina. What's next? What's next? What's next? Hey, what's next? 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 What's next?
Hey, hey, what's Katrina, next, Del? Three years what's next, Del? Won the Super Bowl. What's next, Del? Saying. You're going to pull the Cowboys past five Super Bowl rings and bounty gate out your ass, too? When? How about the Cowboys? And the Saints? <laughs> It went when happen to Tony Romo was playing. No, I'm it sorry, I'm sorry. No, you wanna no, you wanna bring no you no, you wanna bring up Katrina? I'ma go here. How many playoff games have you won for the last twenty plus years? Two. We won three in one year alone. Sit the fuck down. Because Whoa. America said hey. Because America, no, you can all do, because you can America try, said, uh, "Hey, we're Katrina, sorry for what try happened try out Katrina, there." Here you, you go, guys. Here's a fucking Bounty Super Bowl. Here you go, Here's your Super Bowl win. Go ahead, run with that. Run with that. Run with that. Wow. Super Bowl win. Run with it. Go. Ladies and gentlemen, in case you had noticed, we warned y'all ahead of time that this shit was going to get real. It just got Ron told us, real. Ron told us, Ron told us to shoot. I, I, I just shot from the fucking hip and headshotted your ass. Not really. You're still aiming at my chest, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, well, allow me to shoot that. Allow me to shoot. I'm Please sorry, we ran out of time. We are oh, out of time. Oh, oh man. Let's go. Let's see, no, let's see five go. Let's see five go. Let's see five go. No, 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 so you telling we, me? We, so you telling me Drew? I mean, you telling me Drew Brees wasn't better than any of the other quarterbacks in the playoffs that we beat? He didn't outplay Kurt Warner. He didn't outplay Peyton Manning. He didn't outplay Brett Favre. That's what you telling me? Yes. We had hey, help. Hey, he ain't we had that. help. Hey, 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 is it Katrina's fault and Bounty Gate's fault that Tony Romo's fragile as hell? No. <laughs> exactly. What, you were expecting uh, me to say yes? Well, little Brittle. Brittle. Honestly, you mean Little Brittle? <laughs> Ladies and you gentlemen, mean little? I, Shout I, out to I, I have L. a <laughs> L, L, hey, L. Little I'm Brittle. L I bet you L probably okay. He mad because Drew Brees is not his quarterback, and they got a little <laughs> brother. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm exactly. good with that. I'm good with L for it. I'm cool. You good with little brother? Oh, God. L, I think L hates Tony Romo just as much as Trump hates him. You I, good I, with I Tony Brittle? I bet Jerry no. Jones would trade Tony Romo for Drew Brees in a heartbeat if he could. Yeah, yeah, exactly. all right. Man, no, man, yeah. Tony, man, no, Tony Romo's hopes and dreams. Man, Tony Romo's bones break worse than Dallas fans' hopes and dreams every year. Or Edge's okay. career. Or oh, Edge's man. career. Wow. Okay. Wow. And on that note, Edge still, okay, I, Edge still won. Edge still won a hell of a lot more in his career than your Cowboys. Not ever. really. Will. Not really. Do it, do it, do it, hey, do it, at least do it, Edge is Hall of Fame. Is Tony Romo good? Exactly. Is Tony Romo getting the Hall of Fame? Stop. We're going to have an after show now just because of all the shenanigans going on here. Trust, it's going to go down. More oh, shenanigans. More oh, shenanigans. <laughs> we are going to have an after show because we kind of have to now because apparently Brandon Dewis still has a lot to say. But at least at this point, we're going to cut, we're, we're going to cut it right in there. We are deadlocked at 6-6 six, six in favor of basically Patriots and Falcons. The fact is that I'm, I'm not going to be the guy that breaks the tie. We'll just wait until Sunday. On behalf of Joe and all the crazy motherfuckers from RWF Media, I'd like to thank you all so much for joining tonight's show. Yes, Josie, we're talking about you too. Don't worry. Maybe we'll find an show with a little Roman Reigns music just to make you feel better. On behalf of our band, this has been Captain Ron. Thanks so much for listening to PLC Overload. And folks, because the yeah, I'm pretty sure Brandon just needs a moment to breathe, and he's going to start yelling some more. So we're going to get – we'll see you guys Monday night for a new edition of Overload. We are going to be talking Super Bowl on TLC. So see you guys next time, and come uh, on. Baby Daddy, we'll see you soon. Have a good night. See, even Katrina fucked up Captain Ron's phone. <laughs> <laughs> 